Hello, I'm Philippa Thomas. This is Outside Source. In Afghanistan, the Taliban continue their advance, capturing Herat, poised to take Kandahar. The two cities look like their biggest gains so far in their rapid sweep of the country. We hear from a Kandahar resident. The prison is already broken. People are out. Prisoners are out. They're all side, uh, uh, already attacking the governor house. I, I don't know what else to expect from them. Like also in the programme, a brutal heat wave continues across much of southern Europe and North Africa, fanning the flames of devastating wildfires. From wildfires to flash flooding, the latest disaster to hit Turkey, this time in the north of the country. Here in the UK, another year of record high GCSE grades, using teacher assessment instead of exams, raises questions about regional differences and girls move further ahead of boys. Hello. The Taliban is continuing its astonishing sweep across Afghanistan, with more dramatic developments just today. In the past two hours, we've heard they've captured Afghanistan's third biggest city, Herat, as well as the provincial capital of Baghis, and appear poised to gain control of the second largest city, Kandahar. If that is confirmed, this day will mark the most significant advance so far, as one after another, the country's provincial capitals fall to the militants. With thousands of civilians on the move to a escape the violence, the sense of humanitarian disaster is deepening. The BBC's Yogi Lemai is in Kabul. Uh, things